Hey Libra. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope um, the first half of this month has been treating you well. Seems to be the case. I feel like for those that have been doing the work, you are definitely out of that energy that I was initially feeling for you guys. Um, when I spoke about you feeling like you were stuck, but it was being a facade, you can't continue to give to people that don't want to, or you can't continue to help people that don't want to do the work to help themselves. You know what I'm saying? You can only do but so much for someone before they just drain you of all of your energy, time, attention, potentially money. You know what I'm saying? So you guys have definitely come to that realization and you've moved or that video put a fire under your ass and you are making the necessary moves that you need to to be in a better position. But as I feel it is important to mention, um, this is for anybody that has Virgo anywhere placed Virgo. You might be dealing with a Virgo. I would suggest to check out that reading. Sorry, Libra. <laughs> but anywhere where Libra is in your chart, so sun, moon, rising, your Venus, your midheaven, Libras. I have to say I am the most impressed with your reading out of anybody that I have done thus far as far as progress forward in making the appropriate changes to put yourselves in better position to elevate yourselves like this this is beautiful let me show you you guys have the chariot followed by the four of wands and the three of wands in the first row second row is the two of swords with the queen of wands and the ace of wands look at this you guys last row we have the ace of pentacles with the knight of swords and the empress card came out but she came out like horizontally almost kind of wanted to be reversed but not so much so so i don't know we'll look into that bottom of the deck is the fool with the devil and the knight of wands are you guys talking to fire signs or are you coming into a, a period of just being really really passionate like what what is going on you guys are definitely taking your power back if you have not yet by the time you watch this video you will be in that position where you are determined to move forward at the bottom of the deck with this devil card and the fool card i don't know how to hold it to where in the camera you will see it correctly it's either this way or this way however it comes up but you have freed yourself from the toxicity right you have definitely freed yourself and you um in making potentially this hard decision especially if you were dealing with somebody that you of course cared for that you may have had a soul tied to that you incarnated in this lifetime just to finish up the karmic debts you know just to resolve those issues just to really understand what not to do anymore um understand how not to treat other people understand what not to tolerate as far as how people treat you it may have been a little bit difficult right but you from that i don't even want to call it a mistake but from that moment in time you were able to come out with some new eyes some new insight some new passion you are feeling inspired i do want to mention though because sometimes we can get um beside ourselves and when we are put in situations where we feel like we have to um, seek advice from other people and we kind of listen to them and sometimes in listening to their advice and we try to take their recommendations it doesn't work out we decide that we no longer are going to listen to anybody you know I don't I don't care what anybody has to say I'm gonna just do what I want to do be careful not to do that um, this month especially if you are presented with an opportunity um, as far as uh, an individual that may be older than you, whether this is a male or a female, remains to be unknown because um, although these cards are sexed and this Queen of War and this Queen of Wands is definitely a woman, it can just be more feminine 
um, energy. So this can be a man or a woman that comes into your life. Be careful that you don't um, ignore what they have to say. Be careful that you're not listening to the advice that they may give you because of this Ace of Wands that comes after it. It is something that you need in order to move forward in um, a business idea or something that you need for your own personal um, inner growth and development to that higher self. Right, that's what we all strive for in this lifetime to grow into the best version of ourselves. Be careful that you don't tune this person out. Like they, they know what they're talking about <laughs> in short. So just be sure not to be too caught up. Um, listen to what this person has to say. You don't have to take everything that they're saying to the head or to the heart. You know, take it with a grain of salt, but do listen because there is something that can come out of it you will be even more divinely inspired to move forward they may trigger um a, an idea that has been buried within you that you kind of like put on the back burner to come back to light and um it would be a good idea to move forward in that because we have this empress card um if you've been in the gym if you've been working on your fitness if you've been working on your health keep going because um, because you're 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 gonna be seeing a lot of growth with that. Um, I'm hearing like food for the soul. That is something that you need to continue to do as a routine. Um, going to the gym, exercising, any type of exercise um, is very good for you. From the 15th through the 31st, really just in life in general, it can be a form of escapism. Yes, but it's a good form of escapism. It kind of keeps you busy in a sense. It can keep your mind off of other things that may be bothering you. But it, like it's a healthy distraction. That's what I want to say. So it's somewhere you can go and where you don't, really don't have to think about any problems that you may be having. It can also help you with thinking up um, different types of solutions. It can help you, re it, it just helps you regroup all together. On a romantic sense, Libra, you guys, I feel like you have your eyes on, um, if not a fire sign, just a woman that is very just driven, um, very determined, very self-sufficient. She can take care of herself. She doesn't um, want or necessarily need a man and you're like attracted to that for some reason <laughs> I feel like even though she can take care of herself this is somebody that you definitely want to take care of I'm not saying anything about the person that you may have been dealing with that was toxic but maybe they got their ish together you know and so the passion reignites in that relationship yeah that's what I'm seeing I'm, I'm super proud of you guys and other people that have been watching you if you've been struggling they are proud of you as well with this four of wands um, they see that you are just not going to give up if anybody doubted you I'm kind of sensing that with this three of wands you know they're coming back and they're you know giving respect where it's due they might be asking you how you did it you're in a good place and you should celebrate being in a good place um, take that breather, be in the moment, be in the present, enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, um, as far as like your chakras, because you know I love telling you guys about that, definitely get in touch with that root, that root chakra. Get some, um, if you are into crystals, red carnelian will be really good for you. Um, being able to, because I know a lot of people say that Libras are indecisive, and that comes up with the two of wands of course not being able to make a decision not knowing which one is the best choice to make um, get red carnelian it definitely helps with that it helps you have confidence in the decisions that you do make it does help with um, basic desires that you may have had it keeps you grounded it um, and it just allows you to just exude good energy to know that you are all that you seek you have all that you need within you because um, the root chakra does deal with like basic desires but like all that you could ever need um, is within 
right? So get red carnelian if you're into crystals. But definitely um, make sure that you keep your root chakra in check, your throat chakra, your third eye, pineal gland. Make sure that that is decalcified. If you don't know how to do that, just Google it. There's some information online, a plethora of information online for you. Um, and your sacral your sacral chakra get in touch with your sens sensuality I always struggle with that word um, there's nothing wrong with like self love right and I want to talk about like masturbation but if you must you know definitely give yourself that time um, if you're with someone you will be having passionate sex or you will be coming into a point where you are developing your more sensual side. If you're a woman watching this video, take some pole dancing classes. Um, it's really good for like upper body strength too if you don't have any. It, it's good with developing that. But just do things that just make you feel good about you and that make you feel sexy. Uh, spend time with that this month. So definitely get into the sacral chakra, balance that out, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what manifests for you in the month of June. With this Empress card, you are coming into um, a period of abundance where you are going to be reaping all that you have sown, um, and it's nothing but good things from what I can see. So I'm looking forward to talking to you guys in June. Until then take care of yourself. If this did resonate for you guys, give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends and family, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys.